13.1a, Review Inequalities with Graph and Interval Notation. Graphing inequalities, we are going to be using an open circle when we have something that says greater than or less than. And then we're going to be using a dot that has been filled in if it says or equal to meaning if it says greater than or equal to, or if it says less than or equal to. If it says the words or equal to, you fill in the dot. For interval notation, we are going to be using parentheses or the curved lines for greater than or less than, and we're going to be using brackets or the very square edged for anything that says or equal to. Let's look at how this applies in example one. Here's example one. It says graph and give the interval notation of x is greater than or equal to three. First, what we must do is graph this. We find where three is on our number line and we're going to put a circle. We then decide whether we fill in the circle or not based on if it says or equal to, which it does. So we fill in this dot. Next, it says that it is greater than or equal to, which means it goes in the larger than direction. So this is the graph portion of our answer. The second half of our answer is writing out the interval notation. It is easiest to write the interval notation directly below your graph. We first look at the piece that is furthest left. That would be the three. We write a three. We then determine whether we need a parenthesis or a bracket. Since the dot is filled in, we use a bracket. We then put comma, and if it goes to the end, remember this goes out to infinity, which we write as an eight sideways. And since infinity is not a definite number, we always use a parenthesis with infinity symbols. As you can see, we just carry the information straight down from the graph to be able to write the interval notation. Both the graph and the interval notation are part of the answer. Let's look at example two. In example two, it asks us to graph and give interval notation for x is less than or negative two. So first we find the negative two on the graph and we put an open dot. We then determine if we need to fill it in. There is no equal to, so we do not fill in the dot. Then it says less than. As you can see, it is pointing to the left and so that's also the direction we're drawing our line because those are the numbers that are less than the negative two. We now write our interval notation directly below the graph. Remember, if it goes off in the distance, it's going to infinity, but in this case, it's negative infinity. And infinity always gets a parenthesis. We then put comma, negative two, and then it also gets a parenthesis because it's an open dot. This gives us our final answer. Remember, when graphing inequalities, you use open dots for greater than or less than and closed dots if it says or equal to. Also, for interval notation, we use parentheses for greater than or less than or brackets for equal to. Also, infinity always gets a parenthesis.